Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to ethically hack college and accelerate your bachelor's or master's degree and earn those degrees in literally a matter of months. Yes, you heard that right. My name's Ryan Sweet. I earned my entire bachelor's degree in just nine months. And now I'm gonna teach you how to do it. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process and I'm gonna show you which schools will allow you to do this. So if this sounds good, let's dive in. Before I jump in, I just wanna say, if you wanna learn how to graduate college in a matter of months and save a fortune on tuition, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell, and you'll start seeing more videos of me teaching you cool things just like this. So we're gonna, first off, we're jumping over straight to my computer. I don't wanna waste your time. I wanna teach you exactly how to do this. So the first thing I wanna show you, I know it sounds crazy to graduate college in a matter of months and accelerate that quickly because we've been taught our whole lives, college, takes forever. It takes four to six years. The actual average amount of time it takes to earn a bachelor's degree in the United States is more than six years. It's crazy, but you can actually do it a lot faster. And I want to show you some proof here. Okay. Now this is a young man. His name is Gregory Smith. He began college at 10 years old. Okay. Graduated college as a child in 1999, went on to earn the Nobel Prize, which is pretty impressive, right? Now, this is a young man named Jeremy, okay? And he began studying engineering at Cornell at age 12, okay? Age 12. These are just kids that have earned college degrees. This kid's name is Michael. He graduated, he earned a college degree at 10 years old, okay? Another kid, Earned a degree at Loyola at 12 years old, okay? 11 years old, now 14, studying engineering at UC Davis. And as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of situations just like this, okay? So this is proof if kids can earn college degrees. And yes, I will admit, these kids are probably super geniuses, but there's something they all have in common, okay? they all took a different approach. These aren't children that were sitting in college classrooms for six years, okay? They accelerated by learning what they needed to learn and proving to the college that they had that knowledge in their brains. And that's something that you can do too. And you don't have to be a genius just like these kids. I mean, I did it in nine months and I, I mean, I graduated high school with a 2.7 GPA. So we're literally gonna jump right in. I'm gonna tell you step number one, okay? Step number one is you must select a school, a college or university, that will allow you to test out of classes. Now what this means is that basically you are granted full class credit if you pass an exam. Okay, so instead of going through all the coursework, the homework assignments, reading the textbooks, everything, if you pass an exam proving that you have this knowledge, you get full credit for the class. The cool thing is you don't actually have to have the knowledge in your brain before you start this process. You just need to learn it faster at your own pace, and I'll show you exactly how to do that, okay? So now... The best programs for this that allow you to test out of your classes, they are called competency-based education programs, okay? And essentially all that means is that if you prove you understand the course material by passing, passing an exam, you get credit for the class. With a lot of schools, a lot of programs, it doesn't matter if it takes you a day to pass the exam, a week, a month, a year, it doesn't matter. It literally means the same thing and your diploma looks exactly the same. So you like literally graduate, earn an entire bachelor's degree in less than six months, you get the same exact diploma as someone else that spent six years doing this. So it's really, really cool. Now, you're probably wondering, Okay, what schools do I actually look for? So I actually wanna show you some of my personal favorite programs for this. And basically, I'm gonna break this up into a couple of different categories. The first category 
is do, if you want a prestigious degree from a prestigious big name school, but you want to test out of your classes. Okay. Now the first program on my list is the university of Michigan. Okay. They, and here's, here's a little caveat. Okay. The university of Michigan has like one degree that's competency based. And then all the rest of their degrees are traditional. Okay. And I do believe they have more in the works and I, I believe it's a business degree. Okay. So if you want a business degree from the university of Michigan, call them on the phone and ask them about their competency based degree. Okay. Now the next on the list is going to be the university of Wisconsin. They've actually got some degrees in the sciences and medical type degrees, which is pretty cool. You can go to the university of Wisconsin, ask them about their competency based programs and testing out of classes. And guess what? You graduate way faster for less money from a very prestigious school. Now the last prestigious school I want to talk about is uh, Northeastern University in Boston. Really, really big name school. They also have a competency-based education program. Now the next section on my list is online programs that have really, really strong reputations. These are the types of schools that I personally look for. I want a school that's hundred percent online because guess what? If you have to commute and travel and sit in a classroom for a specific amount of time, you can't graduate in under a year. Okay. You're going to need to do this at your own pace from your computer. And I also like the opportunity to be laying in bed doing schoolwork. That's, that's a huge pro for me because I can do it on my own time and I can work and have kids and still do this. Okay. So the first on my list, this is actually my personal favorite, amazing program. Okay. And it's Western governors university. They're really, really affordable. You actually pay less, the faster you get your degree and every degree they offer, you can accelerate. Okay competency-based. You can test out all these degrees. They've got business degrees. They've got tech degrees. They've got teaching degrees. They have healthcare degrees. It's a really, really good school. Okay. The next is going to be Purdue university global. Okay. This is a big name school who opened an online branch. And basically the diploma is going to say university of Purdue or Purdue university global. Okay. Um, and it's basically their online branch. It's a really good school. There is a little bit more red tape you have to jump through versus Western Governors. Um, from my experience, the staff and the teachers at Western Governors are seem to be more helpful, okay? But Purdue University does have a bigger name, so that might be a good po potential, okay? Now, the next school is going to be University of Massachusetts Global, okay? UMass Global. Now, I'm seeing a trend because I study all sorts of schools that allow you to do this. And what happened is when the pandemic hit, colleges all across the country had to close campus. They had to shut campuses down. Okay. No students on campus for like a year. So what all these schools started to do is dump a whole bunch of money into their online versions of their school. Okay. And what a lot of schools did was they actually went and purchased online schools and converted them into their own online programs, which is actually really cool. But what the reason I wanted to point this out, if you hear the word global, a lot of times that's going to mean that they do have a competency based program. You still need to call, you need to call the university and ask them. Um, but when you see like a like a big name school with the word global at the end or the word online at the end. Another, another example would be, I believe Colorado state university online. They just opened an online branch. When you see this, a lot of times they're competency based. So you call the school on the phone. If this is a school you're interested in and ask them if they have competency based programs where you can pass exams and get credit for classes. Okay. Now the next category I want to talk about are online programs. They have very solid, solid programs, but they're lesser known schools. Now I prefer the better known schools with the bigger names that are, um, regionally accredited. Okay. 
But some of the lesser known schools have really, really good programs as well. And the reason I would look into these schools is if some of the schools on the list above don't offer programs or majors that you're interested in. Okay. So if you're going for like a really specific major or something like that, these are schools that still have really, really great programs. Now, the first is going to be University of Maine at Presque Isle. I really like their program. It's just a, it's really good. It's just a lesser known school. Okay. Now the next school on the list is Thomas Edison State University. Okay. Thomas Edison State University is very, very friendly for transferring past earned credits to their school. So I recommend this school. If you've earned like a hundred credits or three plus years of credits, this might be a school that will accept most of those credits for transfer. So it's definitely something to consider. And they also accept a lot of, and a lot of these schools do, but CLEP exams and Sophia and straighter line and study.com, these types of third party exams, Thomas Edison's very friendly for these transfer credits. Okay. Now the last school I want to mention is Excelsior college. Okay. Look up these schools, do your research, find, a program that looks like it's going to be good for you. And if you need my help, leave a comment down below and I'm happy to give my feedback about the university. But I will say aside of this list, there are a lot more schools that have programs like this. What you need to look for is do they give you full class credit? If you pass the exam, I like to look for schools that have one or two exams per class. Some, some schools say we're competency based, but you have to do 10 projects to get credit for the class. I don't like that. I I'm, I'm like the type of person that I want to do one exam and be done with the class forever. So then I can just study for that one thing and take the exam and move on. Okay. I also really like schools that offer flat rate tuition. And what that means is basically you pay per semester instead of paying for every class or credit. Okay. And essentially what that's going to do for you, if you're paying for every class or credit and you finish 120 credits in six months, yeah, you got your degree in six months, but you're still paying four years of tuition. And to me, that kind of feels like you're getting ripped off because you're actually not in school for four years. So that's why I like to find schools that charge you tuition per semester. And then they allow you to finish as many classes as you want in that specific semester. Okay. Um, so make sure there's no credit cap or no limit to how many credits you can earn per semester. Some schools cap it. They'll say, Hey, after 20 credits, you got to enroll in a new semester and pay tuition all over again. I don't like that either. Okay. So I hope that helps you find a school that might be a good fit for you. Now, the next step, and this is super important because competency-based schools or schools with competency-based programs, they're still colleges or universities. They're still businesses. They still want your money. Okay. And the faster you graduate, the less money they make, especially if they only charge you per semester. Okay. Now the, the thing with this is because schools are businesses, they're not going to teach you how to graduate faster. They're still going to give you homework assignments and textbooks and all that. Those things just take you a long time to learn. So step two is basically find out what you're going to be tested on and then study on your own for that exam using modern resources, using the internet, using Google, YouTube, all sorts of online forums and things like that. You can learn information online faster than if you open a textbook and try to learn that same information. So if you're referring to textbooks to learn, guess what? It's going to take you longer. So step two is skip all that and figure out what you need to learn and go and learn it. Okay. So the key to this is don't use the textbooks. Don't follow the study guides. Don't follow the lesson plans. Don't do the homework assignments. Don't take the quizzes. Okay. This is all kind of filler or fluff work that colleges and universities work or use that there, these are outdated learning resources. Okay. This is how we learned a hundred years ago. Well, guess what? We have the entire internet at our disposal. We've got our smartphones in our pockets. We've got, we've got uh, Google, ask Google, ask Alexa, ask Siri. Guess what? You can learn information easier 
and faster. Okay. So in a nutshell, the process is simple. Find a school that will allow you to test out of your classes and give you credit once you've passed those exams. Okay. And step two, study for those exams on your own instead of following what the school tells you to do. It sounds simple. It is hard work, but it's much, much easier than sitting in a classroom for four to six years. Okay. It really, really is. Now, um, this is just a YouTube video. If you want to deep dive into this, I'm going to leave a link down below in the video description where I literally break down like step by step, every step of the way that everything that you need to do to do this. Okay. I'll leave that link down below. And again, I share lots of videos about this. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and you'll start seeing more videos like this in your feed. And if you have friends that might benefit from a process like this, share this with your friends as well. If you have questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I hope this video has added value to your day. I truly do. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you graduate even faster than I did and spend even less than I did on tuition. Hope to see you soon and I'll talk to you in the next video.